Hey guys, David Lee here. This is my deck profile for Victors. All right, anyway, so uh, this is, I made top eight in Houston Premium Regionals with teams. Uh, I went undefeated all day. That was pretty good. Shout out to my teammates, Matt Gatson, Jed Mendoza for, for uh, you know, both of them uh, uh, feeding. And uh, anyway, no need to talk about that. We're here to talk about my deck. All right, so let's get down to it. My favorite card, by the way. So, first things first, four heal triggers. I know some people having a big controversy whether to run four or zero, don't be stupid. I run four draw trigger perfect guards. Some people might not like this. I love it personally. The other uh, perfect guard, the grade one, uh, I don't even remember the name. That card sucks because if I accidentally ride Zerg Dragon, ooh, that thing shuts down. We'll get, we'll get to that later. But four perfect guards, draw triggers, that's pretty good. Uh, I run uh, six total draws. You don't need fronts. The powers for your front row is already huge. And then the part where if you get stands, it's, you look really stupid. Don't be stupid. Personally, I do love Gosachi though. He's, he's a, I mean not Gosachi, but it doesn't matter. And then next I run six crit. If you are playing Nova Grapplers, crits is the way to go, in my opinion, of course, everyone has their own. These things can just kill your opponent really, really fast, force them to guard more, or just have really nice shield. And that's my trigger lineup. I like it like that. I have considered running stands, but it's okay. Maybe with Buster, I'll change it. Now for grade once, I run four stride fodder. Uh, you can run three. I prefer four only because I run seven grade threes and searching out for Victor It's pretty good. I like it Next I run three Gunston uh, I don't really Need to do it like I don't use him for the resist skill I use him for the beatdown skill He's really good later and if the opponent has haughtily I just hit really big and they can't do much about it so three of that I run three Riser Custom. He's really good going first. I actually use his skill at least twice to annoy the opponent. Sadly, they, uh, they got a draw trigger every time. I used it on that day, but didn't matter, I won, so. And he's really good on Winning Champ to accelerate the uh, flipping of the, you know, Jizo, really nice. Next, my favorite card of all time, Maliaki. If they run Hanali, this guy will never go to the field, but if they don't, I'm killing them. Maliaki, his power gain is just too crazy. Too crazy. And then Jeff, uh, I got Jarrahawk in there. He's just solid to have two of. He's really good early, really bad late, so eh, good enough. Next, I'll talk about my grade twos. The biggest standard to have everything is a four of Gosachi. He's really, really solid. Just That's all I got to say about him. And then we'll talk about the MVPs of that standard, I mean that premium tournament. My boy Brutal Jack, riding him 19k base, hitting the opponent, forcing them to guard or just take a free damage. Super, super solid. And then going him, or, I mean first stride with Riser Custom, that's a 26 or 27k column. Restanding, 37 on winning chip, really, really solid. Ken Beam, if I ride 10k and the opponent rides a 9k, they look really stupid. <laughs> It'll be a one to pass or I just guard, you know, no pass. It's super, super solid. And against the force matchup, he's 10k to a 10k, it can hit. Free damage. Unless they guard, but it's okay. I'll leave that like that. Next, I got two magical performers. She's really good late game after a winning champ stride. Other than that, she's she's very okay. Uh, I might get rid of her for uh, Kick Kick Typhoon when he comes out, but I really liked her. Never seen her all day on premium, but oh well, I like her. And then two Ninjad. Most of the time I never even used Ninjad's skill. His power gain's good and all, but during the winning champ turn, he, he gains like four, four to six maximum and it's kind of lacking especially on a favorite champ turn i don't really have counter boss to use this skill so there's no point and that's my grade two lineup 
Next, it's another super lackluster thing. All right, four Zubat Battler Victor and three SVR Beast Deity Azure Dragon. If you go first and the opponent is not damage choking you for some reason, he is like the most solid thing to ride. You, you can ride him, counter blast, attack right there, free draw. He's the full package. The only thing that sucks is that he doesn't have the victor name unless you're going second where you can stride into winning champ, victor, and then you have the victor name and everything's activated. So uh, solid, Excel circle. I used him a lot actually during premium tournament, getting just a, that extra attack uh, rear guard and standing it with favorite champ. Pretty solid. Now let's go to G zone. I run two winning champs. <clears throat> The reason I run two is if the opponent damage stalls me, I'm able to go into the first one, don't, I'm not able to do much, and then on the second stride, if I, if I really, really don't have anything to do, like I can't go favorite champ, I can't go Stark, I can't go Victal Plasma, I just go into another winning champ, get a free draw, it, call it a day. I used him during the tournament, it's really nice. Next, I run one Tribra, my MVP of that tournament. I love Meteor Kaiser Tribut. So if you guys didn't know, his skill is every time a rear guard stands, counter blast one, that unit gains two and he gains two, really nice, and blow up a card on the opponent's side of the field with equal to or less power. So the reason he's the MVP is because I flipped him every time for winning champ Victor. <laughs> and, and you know, he's a waste of space. Uh, never needed him. Next, I run two Meteor Kaiser Victor. I actually went this into one of the matchups because the opponent actually gave me zero damage. Crazy. And so he's just free on hit, free flip. It was uh, really depressing. But uh, nonetheless, if the opponent damage stalls or damage chokes, he's really solid just for free restand and power. Next, my favorite card. MVP of the day went into him six out of my eight games and winning on him favorite champ Victor really strong effect every time I had counter blast I would G guard into it and then just blow him up Malayaki really solid with this turn and you know not a lot of people can live but if they live they have practically nothing and I have nothing too but it doesn't matter Next, I have one Zeroth Dragon of Destroy Star Stark. Look, look at this. This is also another MVP of that day. Never went into him, but he was a great flip fodder. Just in case I ever need to go into him because uh, they have like triple Honolulu for some godforsaken reason. He is great just to stall out the game a little longer. I run two Victo Plasma. I didn't get to go into him sadly. He's really good. Especially if the opponent runs Hanoli, that way I can have a, I can use all my rear guards to attack first and then he can attack twice without having to use the counter blast because Hanoli only works on rear guard attacks. Really solid, double swing, pretty good. Next, one Drigger. I didn't, no one survived long enough for me to use into him, but he's really solid. If I don't want to kill him on favorite champ and I'm at GB8, I'll go into Drigger, keeping my massive hand and just attacking so many times, it's really good. I like him a lot. Uh, one Sabreeze. Some people don't like Sabreeze and they're like, oh man, you have a Zero Dragon, what's the point, man? Well, the point is, you know, accelerating to, to favorite champ is pretty good. Um, all right, that, that's all my strides. Now, for my G-Guards, it's the super standard. One, Meteor Kaiser Guntreed. He's, uh, he's like the best thing we have, no shield though. A counter charge. All right, three, dog and titan. I can just flip them over for winning champ. I can flip over them, flip them over for G guarding. I can just G guard with him. He's the full package. He's just 36, really solid. I use this effect like every game to flip him back down to counter charge. Just, just a solid card, all right? All right. And then MVP though, actual MVP, no memes. Air element, rack tome. This card, revolutionary. I have never seen a card top deck me so many non-perfect cards in my life. I dropped a random grade three, got a grade three, and I was just like, man, 
I guess I'll just perfect guard with the one in my hand instead of getting one. Anyway, he's really good. Uh, if I ever have too many great threes, I actually do get more cards uh, to my hand that I do need to shield. Uh, if you draw into a heal trigger or a draw trigger, which is like the perfect guard, really solid. But if it's not, I can also use him for ditching things and then getting more pieces to my hand so that I can go into uh, my next stride turn really, really strong. Yeah, that's, uh, that's my deck profile. If you have any questions, uh, please like, subscribe the channel, and uh, thank you for watching.